In this video, we are going to cover the basics of TileScript. TileScript allows you to quickly and easily build herringbone patterns or non-rectangular tiles or other patterns that you just can't create in the designer. So to begin, I'm going to create a new tile. And this part really doesn't matter if you're using script, so I'm just going to quickly skip through these steps and just name it. And then click on script. I'll select yes. And first I want to show you the tile script library. It's the most accessible portion of the script, so I'll click on that. And this will open our website with a large library of patterns, including chevron tile patterns, herringbone patterns with, with and without key squares and with different colors hexagon patterns, wing tile patterns, all sorts of different various patterns. So you're going to just scroll through this list and when you find the pattern that you would like to create in Calidus, you'll select the text on the right hand side. On the left hand side there's a, a bit of an explanation of what this text is doing. So this, by reading this explanation you can kind of better understand what the text is doing and then if you need to make changes you can make changes just to the text. And so now I'm going to copy this text with control C and go back into my Calidus and in the left hand side I'm going to select this text and hit control V to paste the text from the website. Now I'm going to come and select build and it will build whatever pattern that I have copied off the website. If you would like to build your own patterns in the script, you absolutely have that freedom. To begin building a pattern, first you will need to set a unit size. So I'll type in unit size, and let's do one foot to begin with. Everything I type in after that unit size is going to be based on the unit size. So you want the unit size to be the smallest dimension that you will be using to build your tile or tile grid. After I've set the unit size, I will set the repeat by just typing rep. And then let's do a three foot by three foot pattern. Now I'm ready to build my tiles. So I'll begin by typing in tile and then a space and then the size of the tile. So let's start with a three foot by one foot tile. Next I'm going to type in zero, zero. And this is the coordinates of that three foot by one foot tile on an XY grid. In other words, that tile is placed at the center of my grid zero feet over and zero feet down. The next tile I want to place this at one foot over and one foot down. So I'll just type those coordinates in after my zero, zero and hit build and it will place another tile one foot over and one foot down. And you can see it's just starting in that corner. If I want to add a tile of a different size, I'll drop down and type in tile again and we'll just do a one foot by one foot tile and I'll put this at two feet over and two feet down. And you can see from our start point here, it's going to go one, two feet over, one, two feet down, and place that tile there. And now we'll build one more tile that is two feet long and one foot tall and we'll place this at 0 and 2. So from our start point here that's 0 over and 2 down and we'll place it there. So now if I want to color these in and give each tile its own color, I'll drop below the tile and type in COL for color And I'll do this for each tile. The, 
for this line, I have two tiles. I have a tile at 0, 0 and a tile at 1, 1. So I can color them both in at the same time if after the orange I put 2. That means it's going to color two tiles orange. So that's how you apply colors. You can also add more information to the script to help you better understand it. So I'll just put a little line break in between each of my tiles. And I can come and put a hashtag and that will allow me to write any text I want without it entering into the script. So it's not going to affect the tile grid that's built. And I can call this tile A, whatever the product is, and come down in here and do the same thing. This is going to help keep your script organized and let you know what's what. So if you need to move a product or make a change, it will be easy to find that information. If you're doing a lot of scripting, I would recommend saving a template of your tile script creations in a Calidus file so that you don't have to create these every time. You can just copy the text and paste it into a new Calidus file and build that tile grid very easily. So when you're done, you'll select OK, OK, and we'll place that material in the room and quantify it. And we can see that grid has been created. Other things that you can use the script for, it's really good for herring bones. So there is a different way to create herring bones if you go to create new herring bone but this does not work for all sizes. So if you have an odd size, say a nine inch by 59 inch tile that you want a herringbone, it's much easier to go in script. And all you have to type is set a unit size. So we'll do one inch and then herring nine space 59 and build and it will build that herringbone for us. So when you're building a herringbone, if you have multiple products, you can easily put those in with the color. So this will create two tiles. And if I just color one in, you can see it's the vertical and then the horizontal, just repeating over and over. You can also add rows. Um, after the 9 by 59, I'm going to put 0 for the next one. This box is for key squares. And 2 in this next space to create 2 by 2. And then I can color those in. And you can see it's starting orange green, blue, pink. So I can just change this number and add rows and add colors. So that is herring bones. So that's it for the tile scripting basics. If you have a question or you'd like to post a an especially complex tile script creation, uh, you can put that in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.